Your Excellency Evariste Ndaishimie, the President of the Republic of Burundi and the Chairperson of the ESC Summit of Heads of State. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Assalamu alaikum. Habari asubuhi au ya mchana. Na mahoro bavandimwe mu Burundi. I would like to request my brothers and sisters from Yala after the very brilliant speech by His Excellency the President that addressed most of the issues that affect the assembly. I would like to request you to give him another warm applause. Thank you very much. On behalf of the members of the East African Legislative Assembly, I wish to express our profound gratitude to His Excellency Evaristine Daishimie, the President of the Republic of Burundi and Chairperson of the Summit of the ESC Heads of State, for gracing this historic occasion despite your busy state duties. We also extend our appreciation to the government of Burundi for hosting the first plenary of the Ala Five and for the warm hospitality accorded to us since you arrived in this beautiful city of Bujumbura. On a special note, I would like to thank the parliament of Burundi for the existing cordial relations with the Ala and for availing its premises to Ala so that we can discharge our duties while we are here in Bujumbura. I wish to congratulate you, Your Excellency, for your steward leadership ever since you were elected to chair the ESC Heads of Summit. Your Excellency, your focus on peace and security and regional cooperation, in particular, following up and ensuring that there is stability in the Eastern DRC is a very important initiative that has to be commended. We also thank you, right, uh, Your Excellency, for also promoting regional cooperation, which is critical to good neighborliness. And in particular, coming from the Republic of Rwanda, I know what it means because your commitment to reviving together with your brother, His Excellency President Kagame of Rwanda, to ensure that we normalize relations has now allowed the borders like Ruhua to open and agreeing, allowing the free movement of our people and doing business in the region. So Your Excellency, we really thank you for the bold initiative. The recent election of Burundi to the AU Peace and Security Council, your appointment as the AU champion for youth peace and security agenda in Africa, just to mention, but a few are testimonies of your commitment to peace and prosperity of Africa based on inclusive and sustainable development. Under your visionary leadership, Burundi is dedicated to social economic transformation, including in areas such as agriculture, domestic and infrastructure development, including the promotion of the central standard gauge railway that runs from Dar es Salaam, goes through up to Isaka connecting Rwanda, but also connecting Burundi through Songati and later DRC. And Excellence, we really commend you for this initiative because infrastructure is critical to connecting our peoples to do trade in the region. Your Excellency, 
Iala as people's representatives by holding plenary session in our partner states, and this time around in Burundi, accords us an opportunity to interact with citizens and various stakeholders and bringing the assembly and the community closer to citizens. It also reminds us about our brotherhood and creates bonds of friendship and solidarity in the spirit of our motto, one people, one destiny. We believe that what binds us as East Africans is far greater than what differentiates us. Here, when you look at the ladies from Burundi wearing Umshanana and the ladies from Rwanda, it's difficult to know who is who. And when you are in the Republic of South Sudan, they also wear Umshanana. But I also know that in the parts of Ankole, in the Western part of Uganda, but also in the Kabale. Women there also wear Mshanana. So this shows really that you are one people. It's a question of boundaries that were put there by the colonialists, but we are one people. And through ES integration, we need to rediscover who we are and demystify the division. We know that being here, Your Excellency, is key to promoting our unity and diversity as we strive for attaining ESC vision of a united, secure, peaceful, and prosperous community. It is also important to note that the East African community, just like other regional economic communities, are building blocks to African Union integration. We wish to also congratulate the Republic of Burundi for assuming the speakership of Viala 5 with the recent election of the current speaker, Right Honorable Joseph Najirutimana, which is a clear demonstration of the trust and confidence the members of the community, members' representatives have in him and in particular, the leadership of the Republic of Burundi. We assure you, Excellency, our continued support to our speaker as he steers the assembly to greater heights. Your Excellency, the President, allow me to bring to your attention some of a few structural challenges our assembly is grappling with. I know many have touched on them, in Kirundi and Kinyarwanda, they say, Nyakuba Wariyoha Asubi Womo. So it's good to repeat sometimes for emphasis. So uh, the first challenge, as already alluded to, is the issue of funding. Your Excellency, the community of East Africa is growing, both in membership. In 2000, we had only three. East African countries, Uganda, Kenya, and the United Republic of Tanzania. As we speak today, we have seven partner states. And that also implies that we are covering a population of close to 300, 300 million people. So as people's representatives, we have to transverse across the region to sensitize the community about ESC and the others work. But Excellency, if you would know that today, we are only holding four plenaries and the plenary is 14 days. So if you times four, that means it's only 56 days in a year and yet you are paid as members of parliament to serve East Africa and the entire year. So for over 200, 205 days, we are just seated at home in a holiday, we say no, we are here to work. So your excellency, through your leadership, as a person who is really passionate about people's representatives, as the chairperson of the summit, we 
request you, we kindly request you that you look into this matter so that EALA is fully facilitated, that at least we can have six plenaries of 21 days, at least 126 days, and then we can rest, or not even resting, through the committees, as you rightly said, uh, Your Excellency, at least seven days per committee for four activities. And then we shall know that we are truly serving the peoples of East Africa in discharging our core mandate of passing legislation, of constructing integration, of representing our people, and also of holding our governments accountable. There is also need for partner states to ensure timely remittance of the annual contribution and expediting the establishment of sustainable funding mechanism. Your Excellency, we are happy that the summit have taken up this issue. We wish you could use the approach the African Union used where the summit member is the one who leads on sustainable funding mechanism. We believe leadership at that level will help us achieve sustainable funding mechanism as a community. There is also the issue that has already been talked about, the administrative and financial autonomy. Again, Your Excellence, just one example. As we speak here, because EALA doesn't have the autonomy to hire its staff, the speaker right now doesn't have a personal assistant. Sorry, those are details, but that shows you. So he has to carry files everywhere he goes because the hiring of personal assist assistance has to go to the council of ministers. And that has also really made it difficult for EALA to work, to be able to hire its staff, to be able to manage its funds, but also to have the capacity of mobilizing its resources. Finally, right there, uh, Your Excellency, the President, the issue of treaty amendment was also talked about. We think this is urgent. The treaty was enacted when we were only three, there were only three partner states. Principles of consensus and quorum were easy by that time, but it might be difficult when you are seven and in future probably eight. The issue of language that was talked about and many other areas. So these are the reasons why we believe that this has to be fast tracked and with your leadership, your excellence, this will be very easy. Your excellency, we also have a challenge of the delaying of ascent of ESC bills. We take a lot of time to pass bills but when they come to the ascension of the summit, very few of these bills, in particular, the private member bills in most cases are not passed and yet they would change the livelihoods of our people. Your Excellence, the President of the Republic, I'm delighted to recognize the presence of, former, of our former fourth Ayala colleagues from the Republic of Burundi, who successfully concluded their tour of duty, and we do hope they will continue serving this great nation in various capacities. As I conclude, Your Excellence, I wish to reiterate our commitment to delivering on the East African Legislative Assembly cardinal function in furthering ESC objectives through its legislative, representative, and oversight mandate. I take this opportunity to thank you once again, Your Excellency, for your unwavering uh, support and commitment to ES integration and appeal to you as the chairperson of the ESC Summit of Heads of State to assist the ALA in addressing the pending challenges, thereby enabling the assembly to effectively deliver on its mandate. The ESC address, Your Excellency, you have eloquently delivered, will guide our plenary and we shall have time to debate on this very important address. 
let me conclude by saying once again, let's try to build a community of one people and one destiny. I thank you very much for your kind attention. <laughs>